Ukrainian troops stop the offensive attempt of Russians, forcing them to flee in Kupiansk direction. In Kupiansk direction, the enemy tried to go on the offensive, but its units started to flee even before reaching the boundaries of the transition to the attack thanks to the accurate fire of our artillery. Colonel General Alexander Sirsky, commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine said, as the commander noted, the Russians carry out offensive operations in several directions at the same time, and most of them are unsuccessful. Despite the intensive activity of the enemy army, the Ukrainian troops manage to restrain its advance and inflict significant losses on invaders. In particular, the enemy's actions were also unsuccessful in Lyman direction. All their attempts to carry out offensive operations failed due to the stability of our positions and the courage of the soldiers, Sirsky added. According to the commander, Bakhmut direction remains the epicenter of hostilities. The enemy concentrates its greatest efforts there and does not abandon the goal of taking control of the city at any cost. The enemy increases the activity of heavy artillery and the number of airstrikes, turning the city into ruins. At the same time, our fighters inflict significant losses on the enemy and slow down its offensive operations considerably. The fighting for Bakhmut continues. The situation is currently under control, said the Colonel General. Before this, British intelligence says that Russia is decreasing offensive action around Donetsk city, most likely to divert resources towards the Bakhmut sector.